be game. Let me gang gang. I'm so fresh, yeah. What's up you guys? Welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Marie and today we're kicking off episode two of our holiday dishes. Our first episode, if you missed it, we made candy yams and mashed potatoes and gravy. If you missed it, make sure you check it out. We'll leave a link right here in, a, in the description box. But today we are making cornbread dressing and green bean casserole, which are both of my favorite parts of holiday dishes. So if you guys are interested in making these delicious dishes for your family, just keep on watching. All right guys, so first we're gonna be starting with the cornbread dressing. I'm gonna turn my fire up to a medium heat and we're gonna use, we're gonna use about a tablespoon or so of butter. Any vegan butter would do. And I'm gonna add a little bit of oil and this is grapeseed oil. So I'm gonna be frying up my sausage that I'm gonna be putting in my dressing. And also since I'm frying up my sausage, I'm gonna go ahead and fry up my bacon that I'm putting in the green bean casserole. All right guys, so I'm taking two of the apple sage sausages. You can use whatever vegan sausage you like. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and just Keep browning these. I'm cooking them for about five to seven minutes. I'm looking for a nice and crispy texture. You can get them as brown or as dark as you like them. So this is how I like my sausage to look. Nice and a nice deep brown, crispy. That's what you're going for, a really crispy sausage. So this is pretty much done. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out the pot and we're gonna get started on our bacon. Okay, so now for the bacon, I'm going to add a little bit more butter. Alright you guys, so, so this is how the bacon looks. This is the same bacon we had in our breakfast video, I just chopped it up. So we're going to go ahead and just fry it up, get it nice and crispy as well. This bacon is really good you guys. The only thing I don't like, it doesn't really change color. So if you get it, you'll notice that it doesn't really change the color. It's just basically warming it up and it looks the same. If you want to add more oil or more butter to kind of crisp it more, you can definitely do that. But I really like the flavor of this bacon. All right, so it looks like it's not all the way cooked, but like I told you guys, this bacon doesn't really change colors. But um, filling it, it actually is crispy, so. I'm gonna let it, I'm just gonna let it cook probably for about three more minutes. Or maybe even less, maybe like one or two more minutes and then I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. Okay, so next we're gonna go ahead and cook up our veggies. We're gonna add some more oil to the pot. And we have some onions, green and red bell peppers and some celery. Okay, so while our veggies are cooking down, we're gonna go ahead and season it. I'm going to first be using some sage. I'm going to put about a teaspoon of sage in here. I'm sorry, a tablespoon. Next, I'm going to be using some onion powder, garlic powder, and a little bit of all-purpose seasoning. And also some black pepper. So now we're going to mix everything up. Y'all, when I tell you when those onions and peppers come together, it's, I told y'all in the last video, it already smells like you are cooking a feast. It smells so good in here. So we're just gonna go ahead and let that cook. I'm gonna add a little bit more oil. Go ahead and let that cook and get nice and soft. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of vegetable stock to kind of all right, you guys, so we're gonna just let this cook until it gets nice and translucent. This should take about five, five to seven minutes. You can cook it longer if you want it more soft. 
All right, you guys, so now that everything's cooked pretty much for the uh, dressing, we're gonna go ahead and mix everything together. Now this is optional. I'm gonna be using this um, herb season classic stuffing. Usually I don't like stuffing mix, but this one's pretty good. And also there's another um, brand that I use from Whole Foods, which is pretty good. So I'm sure you guys all know how stuffing dressing mix looks, but that's how it looks. So we're gonna go ahead and dump that in there. All right, you guys see that good? And now we're gonna go ahead and take our cornbread mix. This is how it looks. You guys, we do have a recipe on our cornbread. If you guys want to see that, I'm going to link it right here and also at the um, in the description box of this video. Okay, so you're just going to crumble it in there. If you don't want to, um, if you don't want to make a homemade cornbread, you can use. They have a vegetarian jiffy, which is really good. Also, I'm going to show you another box that we used. If you don't want to make homemade. Okay, so this is the another alternative, and this one's really, really good. So if you see this in stores, definitely check it out. And the ingredient list, it just tells you to add one egg. We just use either applesauce or a flax egg, and then you can use your choice of milk and oil. Okay, so next I'm gonna be taking some crackers, and these are just Ritz crackers. You can use whatever crackers you like. You can use saltine crackers, whatever you want to use. I'm just going to use a couple of the Ritz crackers. It's, it's these little mini packs. We're just going to crunch those up and put them in here. Now we're going to take our mix of onions, bell peppers, and celery and dump that in there. It was still hot. Okay. So now that we got everything in there, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of mix everything in. And I'm not putting the I'm not putting these sausages in until until the end because I don't want them to get all soggy. Hold on, you guys. I'm gonna take some of it out and mix it um, mix it separately because this is too much. All right, I'm back. I made a big mess, but it's all right. Just want to make sure everything is well incorporated because you want to taste everything all through the dressing. And last but not least, I'm going to be adding some craisins. So I'm going to be adding some dried cranberries into this. This is definitely optional. We just like the sweet little kick it gives. But it's definitely optional. So now we're going to go ahead and add our liquid. And I am adding some vegetable stock. Or vegetable broth you guys and this part is gonna depend on how you want your how you want your dressing if you want it to be nice and moist or if you like it on a little bit on the drier side this is all up to you I like mine a little more on the moist side so this is where you're gonna go ahead and taste your mixture make sure that it's seasoned how you like it it's moist how you like it. Just go ahead and taste it here. Mm -hmm. Really good. I'm just going to add some more sage. A little more garlic powder. And onion powder. I'm going to go ahead and give that a mix. Okay, so now that I added the rest of the mixture back in, I'm going to go ahead and add some more veggie stock and y'all can see that just soaks everything right up all right perfect so now we're gonna go ahead and add the sausages dressing is nice and moist remember that's depending on you guys however you like your dressing this is how we like ours all right you guys so now that you have your mixture you're going to go ahead and transfer it into a baking dish because we're going to go ahead and bake this so it gets a nice golden crisp at the top 
All right, guys, so this is my dressing. We're gonna go ahead and put it in the fridge, let the flavors kind of marinate for a little bit while I'm cooking my green bean casserole. All right, guys, so here's my green beans, all nice and rinsed and washed. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the water and cook them. I'm gonna put a little salt in the water, I forgot. So now our green beans have been cooking for a good three minutes. We're gonna go ahead and cook these for about five minutes till they get not too soft, but just like, just cooked. And once you do that, you're gonna go ahead and uh, take them off the fire. All right guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and make our cream for the green bean casserole. So in a saucepan, we're gonna go ahead and add our oil. We're gonna go ahead and add our onions. Go ahead and cook your onions down. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add some flour. Adding about two to three tea tablespoons of flour. This is gonna uh, make sure our sauce is nice and thick and creamy. Okay, so the flour sucks up all the oil, so we're gonna add a little bit more oil. Okay, so now that you cook the flour down some, we're gonna go ahead and add some uh, veggie broth. Soaks everything up. You're just gonna add some more. It's kind of like the base to making gravy. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and add our milk. You can add any milk of choice. I'm using unsweetened almond milk. And I'm taking about three fourths of a cup of almond milk. So now we're gonna go ahead and add some cream cheese and I'm using onion and chai cream cheese. We're just gonna go ahead and melt that in there. You can use plain cream cheese, whatever you like. That's just what I had in the fridge. And it's okay that it's looking a little um, watery right now. It's gonna get thick and plus we're gonna add cheese. I'm just trying to get all the lumps out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and season this before I add our shredded cheese. We're gonna add salt garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of black pepper, nutritional yeast to give it that nice cheesy flavor. And I'm gonna be taking some all-purpose umami seasoning. I'll go ahead and mix this all together. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our shredded cheese and this is the Daya um, cutting board edition. I'm gonna go ahead and add that in there. I know a lot of people said they don't like Daya cheese but I actually like the cutting board edition. It tastes a lot different. So we're gonna go ahead and just mix that in and melt that into the sauce. Gonna add a little bit more vegetable stock. Gonna add a little bit more milk. Alright guys, so I turned the fire off. Now this sauce is all ready. It's nice and thick as you can see. We're gonna go ahead and transfer the green beans into a baking dish and pour this all over it. Alright guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and add our green beans into the pan and now we're going to add our cheesy delicious mixture okay so now we're going to go ahead and fold it in so every string bean gets cut at this point you want to make sure you have your oven preheated at 375 because we're going to go ahead and pop our string bean casserole and our cornbread dressing in the oven okay so everything's mixed in now we're going to go ahead and add our topping you guys before i forget i almost forgot to add my bacon so i'm going to put half the bacon we made earlier i'm going to mix that in and then we're going to add the other half on top okay you guys before i finish the next step i almost forgot one of 
the best parts of this recipe, which are the sauteed mushrooms. So I'm gonna go ahead and add those in right now and then mix them. Mix them in. Now these are optional if you don't really like mushrooms or if you're allergic, but I love mushrooms, so have to have this in this recipe. We're gonna go ahead and mix everything together. Okay, so now we're ready to move on. We're gonna be taking our crispy onions and you can use any brand you like. So we're gonna go ahead and put these on top. I kinda like to crunch them a little bit more. And we're gonna put a little bit more bacon on top. All right, you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and pop our green bean casserole and our cornbread dressing in the oven. And I'm gonna put the dressing in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes covered. So you're gonna make sure you cover it up. I'm gonna pop this in the oven for about 25 minutes covered, and then I'm gonna uncover it and cook it till it gets nice and brown for about 10, 15 minutes. Okay, and for the green bean casserole, we're gonna cook this for about 15 minutes. We just wanna let our onions get nice and golden brown and warm everything through. So we'll pop that in right after the cornbread. And I'll show you guys the finished product when we're done. Hey guys, so this is the dressing, the cornbread dressing all done. It's nice and golden brown. And you guys, look, it's still nice and tender inside. This is how it's supposed to look. Mm. I cannot wait to get into this. I'm about to taste it, you guys. This is perfect. So, so good. Definitely make sure you make this recipe. All right, guys, so here's the green bean casserole, all nice and golden brown. We'll go ahead and dig in it so you guys can see what it looks like inside. Look at that. Mm. All right, you guys, I might burn my mouth again, but let me go ahead and try it. This was really, really good. I hope you guys try these recipes out for any holiday, any occasion. Definitely try these recipes out and let us know what you think down below. So here's both cornbread dressing and the green bean casserole. As y'all can see, my family already been digging in on the cornbread. It is delicious. I hope y'all try these recipes out. Hope you guys enjoyed the recipes. Love you guys. We'll talk to you later. Peace. All right, guys, so those were the recipes. I hope you try them out for your family. If you do, please send us a message or pictures on Instagram. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please share with anyone and everyone, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.